I turned away from religion and theism for a lot of reasons, but the first domino to fall was when I was about seven or eight years old and I heard a sermon I'll never forget. For background, I was raised a devout Ethiopian Orthodox Christian and every Sunday without fail, my mom would take me to church. And every Sunday without fail in the front row would be this family who had a son, David. And David had pretty severe cerebral palsy. He was very uh, visually disabled as well. He couldn't talk or eat or uh, speak by himself. Uh, and my mom, every time we would pass him, would do the whole, oh, and say a quick prayer for him. Now, one Sunday we get to church and David and his family aren't there, which is very strange until the pastor speaks up and says that uh, David had a pretty serious medical episode. Uh, and so they were going to say a quick prayer for him and they were going to dedicate that day's teaching to talking about why God creates disabled people. And usually I'd sleep through church, but I was a curious kid and naturally that would pique my interest so I stayed up until the teaching and I will never forget what this man said he said that God makes no mistakes and he purposefully creates disabled people so that the rest of us able-bodied people have a way to feel grateful that no matter what hardships we go through in life we can look at disabled people and at least feel blessed that we're not like them and what's even crazier is I'm looking around at all the adults, including my mom, who are going, mm-hmm, yep, that's right. And I'm sitting there as a child going, um, what? It's amazing to me that this same bullshit that was being taught when I was a child is still being taught today. The fact that people are sitting in churches and are being conditioned into believing that a reason why someone is born with some type of affliction is so that God can demonstrate to everybody else to be grateful or so that God can get a message through them or so that God can show his power in them, that this is the reason and the rationale. And generally it, it is based on what happens within the person's life. Uh, if the person dies, then God just wanted you to be grateful. If the person just continues to suffer through life, then God just wanted people to be grateful. But if the person is healed in some form or fashion, then God wanted to demonstrate his power. There's always an excuse for what the people who say that no one can know the mind of God, all of a sudden they always know the mind of God and what God is doing. You know, instead of just looking at what's actually going on, this young lady is definitely way younger than me. And for that stuff to still be going on is just a travesty of the brainwashing that is going on in churches and how they're, you know, brainwashing children so that when they are adults like their mom, like her mom, then they are still saying that, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, they are agreeing to this and they're raising up the next group. But thankfully, more and more people are walking away from this type of mentality because one of the beautiful things about being a child is that if you're a strong enough child, you will start to, you will recognize the ignorance. You will recognize that it doesn't make any sense. And then you will hopefully stay strong in that and continue to move out of this religion. And we didn't have the resources when I was coming up as, as people do today, which is why more and more young people are walking away from this religion than ever before. So I think it's an amazing, amazing thing. And I look forward to seeing the growth of people who walk away from religion. So y'all have a great day. And remember always, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.